it's that time of year again where one of the most anticipated portals of the year is happening in just a few weeks. On November 11th, be prepared for an intense portal that will bring awakening, ascension, transformation, and just powerful energy overall. Are you ready for the blessings that are waiting to be manifested? This portal links us directly to the divine as the number 11 is the bridge between the spiritual and material world. I'm Solana and in this video, I'll be sharing with you information about the 1111 portal, the energy of that day, and just different things that you can do to harness the powerful, potent energy of 1111. I'm outside today filming this video, so I apologize in advance for any noise that you may hear, any background noise, but we're gonna get through it. So if you're ready, let's dive right in. Okay, so for last year's 1111 portal, I broke down the meaning of 1111, every single number in 1111, number one, number 11, number 111, angel number 1111, and I really gave a detailed explanation about each of those numbers. This year, I'm just going to focus specifically on the 1111 portal. So if you're interested in a more in-depth analysis of all the numbers in 1111, don't hesitate to check out last year's 1111 portal video, just the beginning of it, so you can get a more detailed breakdown. If not, just keep watching this video. So the 1111 portal is a gateway for spiritual growth awakening and transformation. As we know, 11 is a master number all about illumination, spiritual insight and awareness, and creating balance and harmony. 11 is also a teacher, a spiritual messenger. This portal provides the opportunity for you to step through that doorway into a new state of being. The number one represents new beginnings, right? And with the repeating ones, we're reminded of the chance to start anew, to create and to empower ourselves with the choices that we make. Now, we all know that we're spiritual beings having a human experience, right? And sometimes we get so caught up in the material that we forget the spiritual and vice versa. It can go both ways. So this portal helps to remind us of our inner divinity. It's a reminder from our inner selves about the divinity that we possess within. And so if you've been seeing 1111 recently and leading up to this portal, just remember your divine nature. Keep in mind that the material world is just a tool for us to create. As spiritual beings, we have the power to create and invent whatever it is that we envision. This goes for anything negative and positive. Take time to reflect on what you've created in your life based on the thoughts and actions that you've had thus far or a lack thereof. Also during this portal, be ready to receive increased intuition or experience increased intuition and to receive divine insights. The veil is very thin between the spiritual and physical realm and getting more downloads during this time leading up to the portal on the portal is inevitable. 1111 also invites you to strengthen your spiritual foundation. It reminds you that you can create harmony between both worlds, between the physical world and the spiritual world. And it's a matter of making the choice to do so, carrying out the actions. So how can you create more balance and harmony between the two? That's something to keep in mind during this portal and as it approaches. Now, speaking of action, now is the time to take inspired action. When you get a new idea, act on it. Don't wait for the right moment because the right moment is always going to be now. There's never going to be a situation, I won't say never, but you know, sometimes we choose to just wait for something to happen. We push things back because we're like, oh, we're not ready for this or I'm waiting for that. But when you're receiving those insights, those inspirations, act on it okay take that inspired action and don't hold back use your spiritual eyes to look beyond the ordinary and to see things in a new light whatever ideas and opportunities that present themselves to you be open to them during this time however it's super imperative that you use wisdom and discernment in everything that you do okay 11 is the number of the spiritual teacher the spiritual messenger and so what situations have you encountered time and time again and what do you need to learn from these situations? What lessons do you need to learn from them and to grow from them? How can you use your experiences, past, present, to be a source of wisdom for other people? During this time, allow your intuition to help guide you into making your decisions with clarity, okay? Discernment is so important. This world is filled with illusions, right? Um, in Hinduism, it's called Maya. And so it's important that you're able to see through the things that present themselves and see 
it for what it truly is rather than what you want it to be. And so discernment, clarity, and wisdom are all themes that are important during this time and especially on the 1111 portal. The word light has an 11 vibration and this is a time for you to be magnetic by emanating joy and emanating light. As above, so below. As within, so without. Be mindful of your thoughts, be mindful of your actions and what you're projecting out into the world. If you want to bring more love into your life, be love. If you want to bring more peace into your life, be peace. So whatever you're thinking has the tendency to be what's manifested outwardly. And so try your best to stay in balance within, to stay positive. You'll see more of that manifested. The 1111 portal is also a time for oneness and meditating on unity consciousness. The one represents the I am. Two indicates the unity of individuals. Now we know 11 breaks down to two really, so it's like 11 two, right? Keep in mind that even though we are all individuals, we are all unique, we're still all one. And this portal helps us to realize that though we do stand in individuality, we are all connected by the divine spark of light that resides within each each and every one of us. Now is the time to create a bridge of love. And like a candle, you can use your flame to ignite the flame of somebody else, right? To spread love and to spread light. Sorry for that noise. All right, so now let's talk about the numerology of 1111. And I'm so excited because the 1111 portal this year is extra special just because it occurs on an 11 day. So we have this heavy 11 energy just ruminating all around us okay it's very intensified and it just really magnifies the potent energy november 11th 2023 breaks down to 29 11 and so we have the influence of number two which represents connection cooperation and harmony as well as the influence of number nine a number which signifies endings also represents higher law universal love and compassion okay so these energies really provide extra support towards transformation and creating harmony and balance transformation is a huge theme with this portal it's all about stepping into something new creating change in some way again this is a time for you to be very mindful of your thoughts as well as your actions and be conscious of what you're doing and you know what you're thinking be present be aware and be mindful and you know what i find it so synchronistic that this day reduces down to a number 11 a, a number of creation and new beginnings and so this portal is giving us the opportunity to start fresh we're supported in embarking on a new journey we're always supported in embarking on a new journey but especially on this day if you're ready just for a new start here is your opportunity. The gates are open for us to raise our vibration and to attune to the frequencies of love and to the frequency of light. We're supported to begin creating and to begin manifesting. And so what ideas are you bringing to earth from spirit? And how can you ground them into reality? That's something for you to think about. Due to 11's intense energy, remember to stay grounded leading up to and especially on the day of the portal okay take time to connect with your inner being through meditation yoga or spending time in nature go outside go to the beach do something so you can ground your energy because again this energy is very potent all around so the astrology of november 11th um, let's talk about that for a little bit 11 11 the portal it takes place while the sun is in the sign of scorpio and we know that scorpio is a fixed water sign that represents regeneration and transformation all right scorpio is highly intuitive it's filled with inner curiosity and has such deep emotions scorpio rules the eighth house and the eighth house represents you know death rebirth sex and all things that are occult again we have transformation with death comes transformation death is just one form of transformation and that can look like so many different things the theme of transformation during this time all throughout november on the day of the portal is very potent and powerful also on this day of 11 11 the moon moves into the sign of scorpio and the new moon is actually happening just two days after the portal on november 13th and we know with new new moons it's a time for us to manifest and create new beginnings and with the new moon the energy is available two days before and two days after the actual day of the new moon. So you can definitely use this portal as a gateway for transformation and to create new beginnings. 
Here are some questions that you can ask yourself leading up to the portal and on the portal. What kind of life am I creating for myself? How can I balance opposing forces in my life? How can I be a light in this world? What can I do to light the path for someone else? What areas of my life need transformation? The 1111 portal is very special and very powerful, okay? It encourages you to be a shining light in this world and to transform any darkness into light, however you choose to do so. Remember to embrace the polarizing forces within and outside of yourself and to find a way to bring them into harmony and bring them into balance so that you can truly create unity. That's what it's all about, right? Recognizing and realizing the oneness within us and within every person that we encounter. Okay, so I'm sending you guys peace. I'm sending you love and blessings now and always. I hope that you enjoyed this video and got something from it. If so, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of this video and what you're going to be doing on this 1111 portal. Shout out to all my old subscribers. Shout out to my new subscribers. You guys are truly appreciated. I literally could not do this without you. So thank you so much and until the next sunrise or sunset, namaste. Not just a pretty face, I got a pretty mind, gotta have a pretty heart if you wanna come.